So I had a lot of people ask me about the structural blueprint, the wind shroom structural blueprint that I produced, um, my online training series. Now if you sign into that series, the good thing about having an online training is that we were continually adding stuff to it. And that, that once, you, once you're part of that process, once you've signed in, then you have continued access to all the updates. Right? So that's one thing people have said, how long do you get access to the program? You have continued access to the program that you sign up for. There's multiple programs on the, on the site. Um, the access is on, you know, continuous once you've paid for it. And, but we also add new stuff all the time. Now the structural blueprint itself, really, what is, what is it all about? It's really years and years of research and training my teacher Robert Chu and also uh, my Sivaka uh, Hendrik uh, Santo um, taking all this information in terms of what structure is all about and making it very clear and very concise. A lot of people talk about st structures and when we look at what they're talking about, mostly it's static structures and it's just you know, how they do it, which is still a structure, but that's not really what structure is about. So the six core elements that we've introduced into the system and, and explain uh, really give a broader language and a richer level of understanding to what's important to have a complete system in, in our minds. So, yeah, the system itself, um, whatever style of instruction you practice, whatever martial art you practice, it will improve and enhance what you're doing for sure. Because it's going to give you more understanding, more richness to, to what you're trying to achieve. Right? To understand the difference between di different types of dynamic structure, different types of positioning and loading weight, controlling weight, all the things that are important to the high level martial arts. When I first started learning martial arts, I used to read a lot of classics and they said, you know, the old masters had were unmovable but invisible. And I, I didn't understand what that meant until I learned this sort of stuff. So, you know, that's the skill you want to feel kind of invisible and unmovable, to have that centered feeling, but have control of what you're developing. Um, that's what the structural blueprint will give you.